What's up, YouTube? It's Potato Trooper, and today, as you can see on the title, we're playing with Lego Fidget Spitters. So, this is a Lego sp sp fidget spinner that I made. And fidget spinners are really hot these days. So, I decided to make one. Well, I decided to buy one first before I made it. But I didn't have any money. So, I watched a YouTube video and I made one. But it turned out like this, which I'm pretty proud of. I have some metal bearings on here, which isn't attached right now, because I'll need to do the tutorial. So, you'll see what I'm doing. And you'll be doing this, too. Fidget, spinner, fidget spinners are the hottest thing on YouTube these days. So, I'm a YouTuber. Why not do a fidget spinner? fidget spinner video so I will and this is a blue fidget spinner that my little brother got and it's about ten dollars which is pretty expensive there are these metal ball bearing three dollar fidget spinner but this costs me zero dollars but of course this looks cooler but after I made this, my little brother, my dad took my little brother and me to the store to get a fidget spinner. But I decided that if I got one, then I would I would lost in I would lose interest for this. So I just took my little brother's, which spins much longer than my Lego sp fidget spinner. But this is cooler. Oh, well, not cooler, but this is just handmade my soul into this thing. And it took me like three hours finding the pieces. So let's get into it. That was just a time last video of this that lasted probably about a minute, but this is kind of rusty in the barrel barrel okay um because my little brother wanted wanted to hide this from me and put this in the cetaphil lotion bottle <sighs> and then he wanted to wash it so he used water but the bearing got wet and of course it's probably iron in there and it got rusty but he kind of fixed it with water somehow, so it's better. It used to make this noise when it was spinning. So, too much talk. I'm so sorry, but we'll do the video. Well, the tutorial for this. So, those are all the pieces you need, plus some buckyballs, neoballs, magna balls. Any kind of metal magnetic balls that have some weight to it. So, if you're going to make this, feel free to just pause the video and get all the pieces. I took three hours finding all of this, watching a different video. I won't leave it in the links. I won't leave it in the description below. So, there you go, and let's start building. So first, you'll need this. Uh, so from now on, if I say like, get two fives, two threes, or two sevens, it all means these things. So this is a five, and this is a three. So originally, it's supposed to be a seven, but I couldn't find a seven. And there needed to be another five, but I couldn't find another five. So you can either get two fives or two sevens. So just... A note so get your five seven or yeah five or seven and get two of these and put it ah, at the end if you're gonna use a seven you'll need four of these long blue ones and put another one at each end and then you'll need these 
shortest gr light gray sticks, which are crossed, and this one with one hole and two cross holes, and put them in there like this. Eesh. It might take a while, but this is the way to get to the best homemade fidget spinner. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Then get two of the other ones. So I just chose black and like gray combo, but you can use black and dark or gray. You can use black and orange, black and green, black and yellow, light gray and orange. Light gray and orange is also pretty, and black and orange goes well, too. So, put yours here. If you're using a 7, make it go, like, make the last two of these go here. Then, get these two blacks. If you're using a 5, and if you're making it like me, you're supposed to go like this. So, if you don't get what I'm doing, then... Just make it like me. But if you're using a 7, you don't need these. The two more blues will kind of take its spot. And take these two light gray threes and put it on. But this is what a 7 bottom will, so, will look like. So with just one more in here. So that's what it's supposed to look like if you're doing it like me. But you can change these two and... It doesn't need to be color matched. And then take this tan yellow thing, tan yellow gear piece, and put it on the red cross piece. Then run it through the whole thing. And then put the other yellow tan thing. And now you're good to go. But for the last one, you'll have to put one of these in here. So press that in, so you can press one in, but if you're gonna do it the other way, you can just stick it in. And then, if you pushed it in on the bottom, this side, you'll have to push it in on the top. Oh, sorry, this just keeps falling off because my mat is magnetic. So I'll push it in here, like so, and... I'll just stick that in like that. So there you go. Metal magnet bearing Lego fidget spinner. <laughs> okay, sorry. This is just so awesome. Well, I made it, so it's awesome. And the way I say it in the tutorial makes it look super easy, but it's kind of super hard if you don't have the right pieces. You'll have to dig through your old Lego stuff box, and then, like, if you think that it's this, it's not, and then it's so hard finding this yellow tan thing if you don't have much geared Lego sets. So, good luck on that. Or you can just go to your local Lego store that's filled from top to bottom with Lego pieces and just buy these pieces. I didn't do that because I was too lazy to make a trip there. But these yellow tan things can't, if, if they're too much pushed down on each other, then this won't spin. So this will have to like kind of float and uh, need to jiggle jiggle. And then it can spin like beep. All right, that's how you're supposed to do it. All right, that's it for today's video. But tomorrow or next week or the, the day after tomorrow or soon, 10 ways to have fun with this will come out. So wait for that. How do you have fun with this, Potato Trooper? Oh, let's wait for the other video.